What's up, YouTubers? I uh, hope you can hear my audio okay. I apologize. I'm not able to use my Letus uh, wireless mic system with my iPad because the ports are different. And I'll be damned if I'm going to go buy another freaking wire just to plug this in so I can have more wires laying around. I know many of you have that same feeling. Anyway, uh, today's project for the Synchro. I'm going to prepare it for um, some sound dampening in the engine bay. Uh, I've got some products on the way. Uh, sadly, uh, they're not going to show up today, but I can at least get the prep work done. This van spent most of its life in Germany, um, so back then they used some type of sound dampening. I have no idea what this stuff uh, is. Uh, fortunately, it looks like it's going to peel off pretty quickly or pretty easily. Um, there's a section that's already popped off here, so I'm going to take a good look at what happens here. I'll give you a closer look. Um, it's almost like a... Uh, I don't want to say a putty. Oh yeah, now watch this. Watch how fortunate I'm going to be with this. Am I lucky in that section? No, it looks like looks like this is going to come up easy. So, let me get to work. Looks like once I get it going, it peels pretty well. And silly me, I forgot to put on gloves. I gotta be smarter than that. I'm just using a pry bar. Um, gives me reasonable leverage so I can get right up in there. And yeah, I'm pretty fortunate that it's coming up this way. Uh, honestly, not sure. It's almost like a, uh, almost like a tar paper, like a roofing tar. A little bit thicker than that. I'm sure it did a shot back then, but you can see how dry out it is. And, uh, I need to tighten this thing up. This van is a little bit on the loud side. puzzles I'm trying to figure out. This is one of them. I have no idea what the electrical port is for. Any of you uh, aficionados could help me with that. That would be awesome.
one stubborn bolt left. Sadly, as I've gotten this membrane removed off this section, rust was found. You gotta expect some. The vehicle is almost 40 years old. I'm doing some minimal addressing to that at the moment. I've got to continue with other stuff involving the removal of this glue on the metal. On to the real fun stuff all of that membrane was pulled off today is another day getting the gloves on because it's gonna get dirty all this residue has got to come off how am I doing that well I can tell you right now I'm not gonna spend a bunch of money on all of these amazing products that claim they're made for goo removal no names will be brought up but i will bring up one that is commonly used for many other things wd-40 baby this is a solvent and this solvent does the trick as you can see there is elbow grease needed so I'm going to get at it. Unfortunately, I could not find an inch and a quarter wide putty knife. This is an inch and a half, and it doesn't get in there the way I want it to. So for right now, I'm just going to do the top portions, take a little grinder and grind away the corners so I can get in there nicely. I've done it a bit like this but it doesn't quite get in there. So if I trim those corners off, I get right in there.
as you can see, this is a tedious process. You just got to dive in and do it. The time goes by, but I was working in between what I do for a living, which is teach tennis. So each time there was an opportunity to work in between lessons, I would. Here I am working at night. Whatever it took to get it done, I was willing to do it. You can see that I'll be dealing with some rust issues, as I said earlier in the video. Here's a little bit of a taste of what I will be using, and there will be more content covering the rust areas in the next video. I chose Rust Cutter. It had really good ratings. There are other products out there. This is just the one that I chose. Thanks so much for watching this video and please give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And your comments and questions are always welcome. Ask away, please. This is a lot of work. There's going to be a handful more of videos on this project alone. Keep your eye out for them. Until then, take care.